Matrix has gone. And with it, all hope. No! Galvatron has it. Where's Galvatron? Where is he? And the answer is... Unicron! Then we've got to destroy Unicron! Yes, friends, and now destroy Unicron! Kill the Grand Poobah! Eliminate even the toughest stain! Alfred Dolman! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Sail must end! Rush right on down and test drive right his body! Come out, Autobot! We all must die sometime! Not today, Galvatron! I will crush you with my bare hands! <sighs> die, Autobot! First, Prime. Then, Ultra Magnus. And now, you. It's a pity you Autobots die so easily, or I might have a sense of satisfaction now. You got the time! Arise, Rodimus Prime. Optimus. Yeah! This is the end of the road, Galvatron. Transform and roll out! Let this mark the end of the Cybertronian Wars as we march forward to a new age of peace and happiness. Till all are one! Till all are one! What up, fellas? What up, fellas? I said... What up, fellas? It's your man in the building holding stacks of millions. The Shave Lion King, bro. And I'm here. I'm back to share with y'all, man, some more powerful truths that's going to make you go through the roof, bro. Let me tell you guys something, man. You know how I get down. I only come with the truth. That is going to give you the most drastic changes for positive growth in your life, bro. There is nothing else out there. You have found the places of all places to be. This is the place to get your daily information, to get your dose of knowledge and wisdom, okay? From someone, bro, who is fully tapped in and only shares the truth. Yo, it's a reason why, bro, they don't let channels like this grow, man. Because we drop too much truth over here, all right? Truth, bro. I've listened to a lot of YouTubers, bro. I ain't gonna cap. There ain't many like the Shave Lion King, bro. There's a few of them out there. I'm not gonna cap. But there's not many, bro. There's not many who's actually gone on this journey, man who went within, bro, who found the master. Do you understand what that means? It's like y'all watch all these kung fu artists, all these, you know, MMA guys, all these black belts. Don't you understand that all of these gentlemen put in significant amounts of effort, bro, to master their craft, all right? And it should be respected as such. You're talking to a man who has retained his seed for over four and a half years of his life. What? On a current two year and six month streak, bro. I don't care. I'm going to keep saying it. I don't care if you don't like it. I don't care if you think it's showing up. I don't care. That is miraculous. There is nobody else doing that. And all you can come up with is some jealousy and hate. Well, I'm here to tell you today, bro, why you are on retention and you can't make it. You're on retention. You keep relapsing. You're on retention, bro. And everything just seems to be going great at one point. And then all of a sudden, all of those voices in the back of your head are now coming into your mind and telling you to take that right hand and reach it down in your drawers and ain't nobody else going to know. Okay. I know because I've been there. 
All right. And I'm going to share with you guys something very important, like I always do. So I expect y'all to listen, man. Okay. With respect, bro. I'm telling you what I know. I'm going to give you some of the proof. I'm going to give you some of that. I'm going to give you some of this. But what you guys need to understand, man, okay, this game of retention, bro, is only for a chosen few, okay? And let me explain what it means to be for a chosen few. Sure, there's going to be many of you guys who are going to be able to go on retention. You're going to get a little bit of benefits, okay? You're going to be these guys that, you know, the nanas, you know, the six months, you know, oh, I made it a year and now I'm relapsing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be, you, most of you guys are going to get to that level. Okay. Which is, I'm not downplaying it, but that's not even far in this journey. Okay. All you have done is pulled this big dusty ass book off the shelf and, you know, inhaled some air and blew the dust off the cover. And you read the first couple chapters of a book that's got infinite chapters. Okay. This is the difference. Okay, between people who understand that this is a long term journey. Okay, this is something that you go on and you go on. And the reason that you go on and you go on is because you end up becoming one of the most brightest people on the planet. Okay, you are fully awake. There's only a couple ways to awaken. Okay, and most of you guys are on the right path, but you're missing that two to three percent bro that is holding you back that is the most important this is why when i tell you true retainers bro who go on this journey bro what ends up happening is they end up finding the truth about everything okay because this unlocks your mind in a totally different way all right you unlock your mind to the point where you become literal genius you become the smartest person in your family you become very studious all right all you care about, bro, as soon as you get done doing your little gig that you got to do to pay your bills is to come home in silence and, and study and find something that intrigues you and, and feeds your brain, okay? Because now at this point in your life, all you are concerned about is expansion of your mind, okay? You understand that thoughts is power. And from this point on, you're going to arm yourself with all the ammunition that you need, bro. All right. To be able to walk out here, ain't nobody going to touch you. All right. But you have to understand that there's already rules in play into this matrix. And if you think you're just going to walk in here with your cockiness, okay, with your, 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 your little few years that you've lived on this planet and think you're going to beat a game that people have been, you know, reincarnating for who knows how many eons trying to beat. Okay. You guys need to humble yourself, all right? This is why I'm here, all right? Most of you guys are on your first tour, okay? You won't get it for another 100,000, 200,000 years if you're lucky, all right, at the rate you're going, all right? Chosen ones are here to enlighten you to what is going on in your current you know, timeline that you aren't able to see because what's happened is most of the people out here are under some sort of possession, okay? I'm gonna, just going to call it what it is. I'm going to tell you what it is, and I'm going to explain it to you. Most people out here are under possession, bro, okay? And this possession can come in many different ways, okay? There's all sorts of possessions, okay? You can do it from the spiritual realm, or you can get, get it done here on the, on the physical realm, okay? Let me tell you how most of these people are on possession, and this is why most of these people cannot succeed on retention because you got to understand retention is for the chosen few. The chosen few are going to pe be the people out here who do whatever it takes. Okay. They don't let nothing hold them back. They're going to do whatever it takes. And if that means putting down vices like eating animals, okay, because of what animals do to your body, nobody said they weren't nutritious. Nobody said they weren't tasty. Nobody said they didn't have health benefits, but you are serious still thinking on a third dimensional realm. Your mind is so small. You have a cage on your brain. You don't understand that, you know, in other universes, other parts of this huge and infinite, you know, place that we live in, bro, that there's living species there who want to live. Okay. Who want to survive to have souls. They have souls. Animals have souls, bro. Okay. So at one point on your journey, you understand that if I'm supposed to be so spiritual, 
if I'm trying to raise my frequency and raise my vibrations, if I'm trying to step to the most high, clean, not someone who's didn't take the time to thoroughly, you know, be able to break down what they're going through in this matrix. Okay. Cause that's what you're going to learn. This is how I know you are where you are and it's no disrespect to you, but you don't understand. So you just need to sit down and be humbled because you're not walking this journey. Okay. You are a person in the crowd right now. Okay. Watching somebody up on the big stage. This is what you're doing. Okay. And until you're that person, that person on the stage and in their shoes, the best thing to do is just listen because you're not on this journey and you don't understand. Okay. I'm just telling you, you don't understand. So you have to understand guys. Okay. All of these things are going on. All right. You have all these distractions. You have all these problems, man, that these people, you know, in the outside world don't see. Okay. So what is happening to these people? What is going on? Let me tell you the number one thing out here that is stopping you from getting the highest and the furthest on your retention journey is your diet. Your diet is the number one thing that is holding you back. Okay. I want to tell you guys something. Okay. I talked about it before and you guys just seem to think I'm a joke. All right. After 12 years, 11, 12 years of studying health religiously. Okay. Putting myself through vigorous tests, trying all sorts of different things on myself for 11 years straight. And I found the truth, bro. I understand what the body wants. I understand what the body needs. I'm not telling you the body can't do, you know, and, and, and adapt like we have by eating all these different things. The body can adapt, but we're sitting here talking about eating at the most purest form. All right, the most concentrated energy eating for, you know, that type of, you know, beneficial, you know, things that come into your life. What you have to do is you have to eat, okay, high vibrational foods, okay? You have to eat foods that are grown by the sun. Okay? You got to eat foods that have life in them. Okay? You got to have foods, bro. All right? that don't have torment in them, that don't have negative energy in them. When you're eating animals, okay, I'm just going to keep it a thousand with you. I don't, just listen to me, okay? When you're eating animals, you're taking in that negative energy, okay? That's first and foremost. I want you to think about that on a spiritual level. The number two, the next thing that you're doing is now you're creating parasites in your body. Now, this is where I'm telling you this is the most harmful, destructive thing that you can do when you're on retention because you want your temple clean as can be. And the reason you want your temple clean as can be so you can understand that these voices that are coming into your head are coming from somewhere. You're not crazy. Okay. You're not crazy. You're not hearing things. Okay. What you don't understand is you're under possession. Okay. We have been tricked into what we're supposed to be eating, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We have been eating things that have turned us into parasite playgrounds. All right. And these parasites can manipulate you. Okay. I'm going to play clips. I'm going to play all kinds of sorts of things to just shut the naysayers up because you don't know anything. Just be quiet. Okay. These parasites control you. Okay. They tell you what to do. Okay. There are all sorts of parasites. Okay. All sorts of parasites. I do all sorts of different type of things. All right. So when you're eating all of these foods, all right, you're getting backed up. All right. Remember, I told you guys that most of the people out here in America are overweight. Okay. <laughs> why do you think that is? I already explained it to you why most of these people have a gut. I know j just about damn near everybody in my family. Okay. All right. On both sides, even on, even on the excess sides. They all got guts. They all out of shape. Okay. They all have parasites. Why? Because they're eating all of these foods. All right. That, you know, feed these parasites, the seafood. Okay. The meats. All right. And what happens is these parasites, bro. All right. Start creating the perfect environment inside of your body. All right. They start blocking up your colon. They start clogging up your, your intestines. All right. And this is what causes you guys to have guts. 
hard guts, bloating, okay? All of these different things are coming from what you're putting inside of your body, all right? And you have to understand that once these parasites have taken over the colon, the stomach, okay? They make their ways up to the brain. They get everywhere and they literally can control you and make you do things that you're not supposed to do. Let me give you an example. There are certain parasites that can call, call, um, come inside of a host, all right? They come inside of the host, all right? And they excrete pheromones. These pheromones attract other parasites and other people. So let me give you an example. It could be a girl and a guy just don't even know each other. Okay. They could run into each other. All right. They could both have that male and female parasite inside of each other. Those parasites can now make those two come together, bro. Okay. And end up mating. And then what ends up happening is that parasite now has a, is able to transfer itself to the other body. Okay. And now what you have is you have a male and a female now procreating inside of another body using you for a host. This is what all sorts of um, things that happen to animals. All animals have parasites. This is why they tell you when you get your dog, you get your cat, all right, to deworm them. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you heard that? Now ask yourself this question. How many times have you ever heard of a human being dewormed? Why doesn't your doctor tell you you need to be dewormed? You've been eating meat for 10, 15, 20 years. All it takes is one year of eating meat before you got parasites. You've been eating meat all of this time. You've been eating seafood, which is the worst shit in the world to be eating as far as parasites is concerned. You've been eating that for years and you wonder why you have attitude problems. You wonder why you have mood swings. You wonder why you be attracted to weird people. You wonder why you get drunk all the time. You wonder why you stay high all the time. You wonder why you're relapsing all the time. You wonder why you're always having these thoughts of pornography going through your head. You wonder why all of these issues that are going on in your life that you think that you don't have a problem because you don't understand how deep this is, okay? is knocking you off your journey over and over and over and over again. And here you are thinking you're doing everything right. You're exercising. You're retaining your seed. You're reading. You're not looking at the filth. But every so often, these uncontrollable urges, ding, 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 hint, guys, hint. These uncontrollable urges have you doing things out of your character. When I tell you, gentlemen, that this is the case, this is the case. Right now, I'm going to share a little 10 minute clip with you, okay? And we're going to cut it up in the pieces. And I want you guys to listen to what is about to be said, okay? Because this is important, because this is going to prove to you exactly what I'm saying, all right? So let me click on this video and I'm going to show you. Are you missing any? aggressiveness all right let me know if you the guys worm then out. wriggles out can you guys hear it now it's dry land so once it's big enough cricket one of its hosts this cricket the Gordian worm needs water to mate, but the cricket prefers dry land. So once it's big enough to reproduce, the worm produces proteins that garble the cricket's navigational system. The confused cricket jumps around erratically, moves closer to water, and eventually leaps in, often drowning in the process. The worm then wriggles out to mate, and its eggs get eaten by little water insects that mature, colonize land, and are in turn eaten by new crickets. And thus, the Gordian worm lives on. So what you've just heard, okay, guys, what you've just heard, bro, all right, what you've just heard, okay, this is one example. I'm, I'm going to go through all of them, okay? 
This is one example, bro. Okay. You see how this parasite, okay, uses the host. All right. It uses the host, bro. It controls the host. It literally made the, the, the insect kill itself. Okay. It literally made the insect jump into water where it could reproduce. All right. And this is what's in your foods. This is what's in your meats. This is what's causing you guys out there, all right, to not be able to hold, you know, consistency, all right? How do I know this? Guys, I have been through every single diet, all right, every single diet. And like, again, I don't care what you do. If you think, if you try to find a loophole through what I'm telling you today, you, there, there's no way no one can save you. And there's probably, you probably should stop watching this content because it's not going to benefit you. The reason you should be watching this content, bro, is because you want to get to the highest level. Okay. You want to receive all the highest, most greatest benefits that one can receive. That's what we're here to do. All right. And to know that something that is polluting your body, something that is causing you to not be your greatest version. Okay, just like quitting any other addiction that could be alcohol, that could be smoking, whatever it may be, you know, it's not good for you when you get to a certain point, when you come to a certain point of knowledge and wisdom and understanding, you see what's going on in your body. Okay, you understand that you shouldn't be having clouded thoughts or clouded visions, but yet we still have them and you'll let every excuse in the world okay, <laughs> distract you from the truth because you don't want to give it up, all right? You're addicted, okay? You're addicted when you can't quit something, okay? You're a junkie, all right? You can't go without it, and you don't even want to try the possibilities to see if it's going to better your life. When you sit here and you have this information, I sit here and tell you that this is going to be a result of what it is, the decisions that you make. And you sit here and choose to look down upon this, lets me know that you're not in your higher self. This is why I can have this conversation with you. I don't need to argue with you. You don't have to sit here and try to convince me. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm on a high vibrational level. You got to come to me to the table with your cards in order, bro, or you're not going to get anywhere with me. Okay. I'm not, I don't entertain dummies. I don't do it, bro. Okay. You will not get a second out of me. In real life, once I start seeing you talk, bro, <laughs> my time is valuable, all right? And I'm here to awaken people and show them the truth, all right? So this, these parasites, bro, are polluting your body, okay? They are excreting all sorts of waste in your body, okay? This is why you have inflammation. This is why you have a gut Dunlap disease. Okay. This is why you have breakouts all over your face and back. I bet every single one of you, and y'all will sit here and try to lie. I bet every single one of you got some bumps on your damn body and you don't even understand how they're there. You don't even understand what they are, but you let your smart doctor tell you that it's nothing. Okay. All of this stuff is a result of what's in your blood. And I just sat here and told you who excretes waste in your blood is these parasites. This is why you eat certain things. It's so crazy that you look around, bro, and you see all the food and you see what the ingredients are in the food. If you understood that those ingredients on the back of those foods are directly feeding those colonies inside of your body and making them stronger, you would understand why I told you you would have to go to a clean plant-based diet to be able to understand the true power of who it is that you really are. Okay. But again, that's another discipline for another story. This is how I know you're not really retaining because as a retainer, bro, you are going for the highest of the highest. Okay. You want to raise the frequency as high as possible. You feel so damn good. You can't imagine how much greater you're going to feel, especially when you have conflicting evidence on what they're telling you to eat. When you're seeing and you're knowing all of these facts, all right? This is what's happening behind the food, okay? You guys really need to wake up and you really need to protect yourself, okay? We're in those times, all right? They're creating all sorts of stuff now. Now you're not even getting that anymore, 
Okay. And I've already gone over my opinion on if, 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 if you could, if you have it like that on what to do. Okay. But most of us don't have it like that. You should be at a point right now in your life, bro, where you're not trying to be caring about walking around here being big, bro. That's not going to get you really anything. Okay. I'm except if you're doing it for a sport or anything like that, that's on, that's on you. I'm just talking about as a regular Joe. Okay. You, you should really be focusing on taking care of your temple to the highest degree. All right. People are getting sick. People are falling off like flies. All right. They're and, and they're saying more. This is to, to come. Okay. And all it takes is for you to really love yourself and accept the truth, man. Okay. People, we need to stop running from the truth, man. All right. I've done it before. I know how it is. Okay. I can tell you all sorts of things. Have a consultation with me. I bet you I'll blow your mind. Okay. I know what you're going through. I've been in every single one of your shoes and I'm telling you, I'm at a level right now, bro, where I know how to help you fix your life. Okay. I can teach you, bro, what I've learned. Okay. You have to let go. You have to open your heart. You have to be willing, bro. Okay. To let the most high lead you. And the way that it, that, that you're going to do that is you're going to stop putting up this front and listening to everything that you've been taught. How else are you going to learn? Let me ask you a question. If I were to wipe your brain right now, how else are you going to learn? You would know nothing. Therefore, you would go through and you would start finding things that make sense. Okay. Because you've either done enough research and you're not listening what other people told you. See, this is the biggest key. You're not listening to other people told you would have to learn on your own. And I guarantee you that most of you guys' outlook on life would be vastly different if that was the case, because everything that you have been taught has been shown to you by somebody who's been brainwashed by the information. It's chain information that's been passed down. All right. And we are now in 2024, bro. All right. We're, we're in a, a, people are awake now. We understand that we've been lied to about all sorts of things. And this is just another big one. Okay. Because this one is really going to mess you up. You're not going to get what you want. You're going to be on these retention videos, just hating. You're going to say you went eight months and you didn't feel nothing. And now you've done giving up and now you don't hate retention. Now you don't lost your life because now you're going against retention. Now you jumped on the bandwagon and say it didn't work because you did this and you did this and you did this. But you don't understand why you failed. You don't understand why you were unsuccessful, okay? Because you don't understand that there is something was always pulling on your energy, okay? And in order to reach the highest level, okay, which is what we all want to do, we all want to be able to have these abilities to be able to create whatever you want. And I feel you guys, and I want you guys to be able to do that. But you have to understand Okay, you have to understand it's all going to fall upon you. And if you're truly on this journey, because if you're truly on this journey, you're going to surrender. And when you surrender, bro, guess what? You're not sitting here, all right, holding on to something that was taught to you. All right, you're not letting something hold you back. You're going within, you're trusting. Okay. And when you live like life like this, it's going to be better for you. All right. And I promise you guys, if I'm sitting here and I'm doing this again, after everything that I've been through in my life, all right, I've been through everything. I've tried everything. And this is the best I've always felt. Even when I was at the very beginning, I said, this is the best what I always felt when I first tried eating like this. This is the best I've ever felt. And even now it's the best I ever felt. I have no brain fault. I have a flat stomach. I, Bro, <laughs> what's wrong with y'all guys, man? What's, what's really wrong with you guys out there, man? It's time to let the ego die, bro. There's too much stuff going on out here, bro. All right. You just saw what happened to Donald Duck the other day. Okay. We got to keep it real, guys. There's too much stuff going on out here. It's time to be smart, bro. It's time to put all that down, bro. Okay. I'm telling you, the most high is speaking to all of us directly, bro. All right. It's time to smarten up, man. All right. It's time to clean yourself up, bro. All 
All right. It's time to, you know, present yourself. Okay. As is the most high is about to come down here because I'm telling you guys, something's about to happen. All right. We've been seeing all kind of crazy stuff. It's like you guys have just fell asleep because you've seen so much crazy stuff that you don't think more crazy stuff is going to happen. So what, what extreme stuff do you think is going to happen next? If we just seen something like that, come on. I want you guys to think if we just seen something like that, what is the next extreme that you think is going to happen? It's going to keep getting worse and worse. And I'm telling you guys right now, there's going to be a cleansing period coming up here. And this is why I want you guys to listen to me and take me serious, bro. I am, I'm telling you, man, I know you don't like the word, but I don't know what other word to use. I'm a true chosen one, bro. I'm here telling you, bro, what is about to happen and what you have to be like. You're supposed to be listening to what I'm telling you, bro. Okay. You have to fall in line, bro. Okay. If you don't, bro, you're going to get washed away like the rest of the low vibration, see low frequency people, man. All right. You have to put in the effort, bro. And this is why retention is being pressed so hard because it's going to be one of those catalysts to make sure that you get on your damn horse, bro. All right. And you stay bucking. This is the truth. And right about now, man, all the knowledge and information that we got, all this created lab food that's being pushed out, all of these hack scenes and all this stuff that we done had to gone through. Y'all are y'all sleep, bro. Are y'all sleep, bro? And most of y'all I see got guts. Most of y'all see you're complaining about losing weight. You don't know nothing. Who are you reaching out to? Why are y'all so intimidated of the shave Lion King, bro? You're gonna you're, eventually one day you're gonna have to do what I'm telling you. Okay. If you don't, you're gonna be another casualty. You're gonna be another victim. Okay. You can keep running away from me all you want. Okay. But I guarantee you when your ass is ready for the truth, you're going to run back to this channel. Okay. Cause I'm here to tell you the truth. I ain't talking about no retarded stuff. I ain't talking about women. I ain't talking about dating. I ain't talking. What do I talk? I talk about the real. I talk about what's going to save your ass. And this is what's going to save your ass. Cleaning out your body. Most of you guys think it's a joke. Some of you are so far gone. I don't even know why you even watch the content. I think you're just the trolls because you shouldn't be here in the first place. Every word that is coming out of my mouth, all right, is the truth, guys. And I'm going to prove it to you. Okay. I'm going to play one more clip of this parasite that has the ability to control you, that controls your thought, that controls your cravings. That makes you eat. That makes you lust. That makes you do everything out of your character. And guess where it came from? The meat. And this is what they pump on you, isn't it? Isn't it? Show me one place I can go anywhere. Anywhere to get some food that's clean these days. Show me one. Show me one. And this is the stuff y'all are eating every day. I, I know because I see you guys every day. I work in the city. I see what you guys are eating. All out of shape all eating the food that they provide you all y'all are in trouble bro when i tell you there's gonna be some mass casualties y'all think i'm capping bro i see people walking every single day with missing limbs i see people walking with all sorts of gal all sorts of stuff all in their face okay disformed bodies okay S just crazy enlarged parts all of this stuff is from what you're putting in your body, people. What's wrong with everybody, man? It's because they're under possession, bro. They are not in control of their body. I want you guys to understand something. As is, so below. As, as above, so below, right? So you know what that means? That means that really everything that's going on in this world is happening simultaneously in many other worlds. Let me give you an example. Have you guys ever seen Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? You remember that movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, right? You remember how they got shrunken down? Remember, they got shrunken down, right? And what happened when they got shrunken down? They were in a different world. Am I lying or am I lying? Okay. The world that you thought was your world is a completely different world to other 
beings. And this is what I'm trying to get you to understand. Okay. <laughs> Inside you is the same thing. You created it. You birth life. You were the big bang to all of these things that you're now hosting inside of your body. But what you don't understand is they have taken you over. Okay. Your brain. Okay. Controls everything in your body. Now, let me ask you, let me ask you something. If your brain can control everything, can your brain see everything? Can your brain see everything? Is your brain just not a supercomputer with no eyes? Is your brain not a, a supercomputer with no eyes? That's what your brain is. So you're trying to tell me why your eyes were distracted, why you were being taken over that something didn't infiltrate you. Something didn't get past your defenses. You don't have all these other issues. You ain't attacked like many of us through the air, through the water, through the food. Nothing has infiltrated your temple. You're perfect. That's why you can't do anything right. That's why you have no consistency. That's why you have no drive. That's why you have no motivation. Because you have been infiltrated, bro. Okay? You have been taken over. You are now the host. And this is why all y'all are failing, not only at retention, but in many other things that require you to be a solid human being, relationships, jobs, all the stuff that you put inside of your body is now causing you demise. And you guys think it's a joke, but everywhere you go, I just told you, I dare you to show me one place, bro, where I can go get me some healthy ass, good, clean, fucking regular non-GMO banana, strawberries, apples, pineapples, peaches, pears, watermelons. I dare you to show me one place like that. But every single thing that you're eating is what? Bread, yeast, dairy, eggs, and meat. Hence why everybody's overweight and why everybody's got a dis-ease because you don't understand what you've now put inside your body and you don't know how to get rid of the invaders. You can't just take some raid, all right, and open your mouth and start and squirting some raid down your throat, okay? <laughs> you have no clue how to remove these energy suckers from your body, bro, Okay. But yet you're still continue to think that on a, on a microscopic level that this is not a significant amount of entity draw on your temple and is persuading you to do things that are out of your character. Okay, I've already just proven it to you. And like I said, if you bumped your head and you keep bumping your head and you keep coming in here, bro, finding excuses to do what you do, you're unsavable. So let's listen to this next clip real quick. You guys let me know if you can hear this. And here's the rabies virus, another mind-altering parasite. This virus infects mammals, often dogs, and travels up the animal's nerves to its brain, where it causes inflammation that eventually kills the host. But before it does, it often increases its host's aggressiveness and ramps up the production of rabies-transmitting saliva while making it hard to swallow. These factors make the host more likely to bite another animal and more likely to pass the virus on when it does. And now meet Ophiocordyceps, also known as the zombie fungus. Its host of choice is tropical ants that normally live in treetops. After Ophiocordyceps spores pierce the ant's exoskeleton, they set off convulsions that make the ant fall from the tree. The fungus changes the ant's behavior, compelling it to wander mindlessly until it stumbles onto a plant leaf with the perfect fungal breeding conditions, which it latches onto. The ant then dies, and the fungus parasitizes its body to build a tall, thin stalk from its neck. Within several weeks, the stalk shoots off spores, which turn more ants into six-legged, leaf-seeking Zombies. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> now we see why there's zombies taking over every city. 
because all the food that they have out there is hot dogs, hamburgers, fried this, fried that, GMO, food coloring, high fructose corn syrup. Bro, everything that they feed you are feeding these invaders. And you hear what the results of these beings, these things are alien. Do you guys understand that? I don't think you understand that because I don't even think you understand what the word alien means. These things are alien, bro. These are the real aliens. Okay. They are literally down here partying, bro, inside of our bodies, hooking up with who they want to hook up with, doing the drugs that they want to do, fornicating when they want to fornicate. They feel everything that you feel and they in your body using and abusing you. They done got past, they done got past the God eyes. Think about it. How hard, how hard would it be? How hard would it be to infiltrate a giant? I told you, this is honey. I shrunk the kids. Okay. We are giants and these things have now invaded us, bro. Okay. We're basically, we're basically the Zords, bro. Okay. <laughs> we're Megazord, bro. All right. And we got a whole bunch of little parasite Power Rangers inside of us, bro, controlling us. Okay. We don't have control of our temple. We're not able to make the decisions that we really want to make. Hence why we tell you how to eat clean and why it's not popular. But here's the biggest kicker. If you were to go try to eat like I gonna I eat, you're going to see it's very expensive. Now ask me if it's not supposed to be good for you. Hold on now. Let's be logical men here. If it's not supposed to be good for you, okay, <laughs> then why is it so damn expensive? <laughs> why are they taking all the seeded fruits away? Why are they making everything seedless? <laughs> and But yet they want to give you that meat, bro. That's all they want to get. We want y'all to barbecue. <laughs> We want y'all to eat them bloody steaks. Oh, yeah. Go on and eat all that seafood. Eat all them parasites, bro. Because all is going to happen is you're going to end up right in their system. Cutting your journey short. Okay. Living a life, bro. Okay. Of sadness, illness. You have a high vibrational, high frequency body. I want you to try to picture this. Picture that you're just a glowing being. Think about it. Just picture yourself right now. Come on. This is what I'm teaching you guys how to manifest. Okay. I want you to picture right now. You're this glowing light. You're just this beam of light. Okay. What would a beam of light, something that doesn't need to eat, what would it consume? Would it go over there and eat another dead animal? By putting dead energy into its body, by putting parasites and bugs inside of its body, by putting yeast, mold, candida, and fungus inside of its body? Or would that light go eat something simple, like a piece of fruit? Hell, not even eat some. Maybe meditate and drink some water. You guys see the difference on how we are and how you'd be thinking vastly different? See, this is why you're on that other side of the veil, because you have not made to the crossroads yet and had this decision in life. And this is what a semen retention does. This is the ultimate awakening, especially for a man. If you miss this mark, then you miss the bus. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you might as well wait to next lifetime, partner. And I don't know when that's going to be. Okay. <laughs> you missed the bus. Okay. Because this is going to ensure, bro that you make that right decision, or at least you contemplate that right decision, or you had a logical, rational discussion about it. Other than that, all these people on the outside, bro, they don't get what's going on here. Okay. They don't understand that this is them. The, the, remember when they told you they predicted a zombie apocalypse? What do you think a zombie apocalypse really consists of, ladies and gentlemen? People out there who don't know themselves. It doesn't mean they're going to go crazy and we're going to be like COD, Call of Duty. We're going to be out here popping them. We're, it's not that. It can get to that. And I believe it will get to that when things get really bad. 
and there probably will be the zombie people because they're not going to think logically. So I, I foresee all of this stuff coming together simply because they, the worst thing that they could have done to us, all right, was made sure we eat that pyramid. There you go. It is that pyramid. Okay. So many of you guys are conspiracy theorists and you know about the Masonic pyramid. Okay. <laughs> but they tell you, this is the food pyramid. Who do you think created that? Who do you think created the system that gives you your health care? You don't see how this all goes together and how this is a big monopoly board and you're being pimped like pimp my ride. You're being taken advantage of. You're being used. Okay. We're, we're already slaves as it is in the working system. The least that you could do is love yourself and take care of your temple. So you're able to awaken yourself to so be able to see that all of this stuff is going on around you. That's the least you could do, bro. Okay. But most of you don't even want to do that. You are lost causes. All right. If you're one of these people, you are a lost cause, bro. Okay. I'm going to tell you the way it is. You are a lost cause. You have all of the knowledge to help you be able to awaken and get yourself out of a rut, men and women alike. We share the same things. Women, close your legs. Start eating better. Watch how your life change. Men, stop touching yourself. Clean up your diet. Watch how your life changes, especially in a time like now, bro, okay, where you should be wanting to preserve your health as much as possible by seeing all this death around us. It's everywhere. And you want to keep playing with yourself. You want to keep playing around with yourself like you're going to have tomorrow, okay? You guys need to wake up, man. This is the biggest and most important part on your retention journey, bro. Because if you don't have this in place, you're not going to make it very far. You're going to ultimately have some type of distraction that is going to lead you astray, which is going to lead you to a relapse, okay? This is the big boy league. And if you don't want to play in the big boy lead, there's the door. Ain't nobody holding you here, bro. Okay? Don't get mad, though. When we up here bossing, all right? Don't get mad, bro. When we manifesting everything, don't get mad, bro. When we ain't up here getting ill and get me in like a broke down car on the side of the road, don't get mad, bro, that the skin glows and pops. Don't get mad, bro, because you chose to ignore all of this information, okay? You now have the truth, all right? And before I get out of here, I'm going to play one last clip, all right? And I want you to listen carefully because all of the stuff that I play you, bro, I'm not here to waste your time. I'm here to make you open that big fat ass peanut that you got on top of your head that you call a brain and use it. Take the damn cage off your head. Stop drinking the coffee. Get off of the stimulants. Put down the drugs. Stop touching yourself. Concentrate your energy. Raise it upward, bro. Okay? Until your crown chakra. Become somebody. Love yourself. Protect yourself. Help others, bro. Live a life of purpose, man. Change yourself. Change the people around you. What is wrong with y'all, bro? Where are the real people at, man? Okay? Because if you were real, you would be understanding everything that I'm saying. Because I'm not sitting here hating on nobody. I'm just telling you the facts. But we all know that people don't like the facts, bro. We all know that. So here's this last clip, and then I'm going to get out of here. Hold up, guys. Parasites not only feed off of food, blood, they poop in the body. So physiologically, they're not good, right? Forget about if they even, there's not a parasite that's good for you. Just remember that. But when they colonize, okay, what do you think a person is when they gain body fat? Okay, that's an infestation of yeast, mold, fungus, candida, and it eats sugar. Remember, we've talked about this many a time. Eats sugar, processed foods, bunch of garbage food, bunch of things that it fuels itself with. And everything that's alive, remember, has an excrement waste product. Everything, no matter what it is. 
If it's alive, then it actually excretes something because it eats something. Think of the demons don't eat food, but they eat energy, energy and motions, a lot of feelings. So why would a person that would be parasitically infected do the things that they know they shouldn't do? And I don't care if it's sexual deviance. Like I said, I don't care what it is. Have you ever been wormed lately? Just think about that. So if you knew that these parasites, and you can now change the word parasites for demons, remember, could it be possible that cancer is a parasite? Could it be possible? That's all. Just questions. So every politician, if they want to go ahead and take, remember, everybody needs to be dewormed so we can remove the, these parasites, which are, you can call them reptilian. They don't have the DNA of us. And so they are foreign. They are aliens. Okay. But they're not outside of the body. They're right inside the body. And they need a host, a person like us, okay, an animal or something to be able to, to grab a hold, okay, of life. And then once they're in the system and once they've manipulated themselves in, remember, every time you get sick, <coughs> most likely you got a parasitic infection. And parasites are causing a lot of disturbance in the body and you wind up having a sickness that you call, that you thought you caught it from your buddy. Maybe you did parasitically. Very important to go ahead and keep up with anti-parasitic protocols. Just so you can find out more about yourself. Is so that's it, guys. You hear what I'm saying? I gave you a little taste of what you needed to know. All right. And when I tell you this is the biggest truth about SR, this is why nobody can do. See, the, I, I have people still run out there and still think they know what they're talking about. You little rookies, bro. <laughs> this is why I almost wish YouTube would um, award people who literally have been talking about some content the longest, okay, and give them some kind of seniority because it seems like anybody to just create a channel, come on here and say something stupid, okay, and then have people believe in that that's the truth. Instead of a real person over here who's walking the journey further than any of these people will probably ever go, bro, who's sitting here telling you from his, his deepest intuition, okay, especially because I've been through this situation before that this is the truth, then you guys should be taking this as the truth because I'm telling you what you're supposed to be knowing, all right? And I've dealt with this firsthand. So I just want you guys to protect yourself. I want you guys to be able to remain strong. I want you guys to smarten up, all right? It's time to start cutting way back on everything. We have people out here, you know, cutting off the flour, okay, which is good look. We have people out here cutting off the alcohol, which is a good look. And this is another good look. It's time to smarten up, people. We're up at the age now where we got to make smart decisions, bro, all right? And this is going to be the best for you in the long run. Put down the ego. Stop worrying about what people think about you and what you look like to other people. I promise you this, the healthier you eat, the better you're going to look. There's a challenge for you there, right there. I don't eat much. I don't care what no one thinks about me. I'm not buff and swole. I'm really cut. I got ripped muscles, but all I eat is one meal a day and eat snacks throughout the day. And I have a remarkable body. I have zero body fat. I have a six pack abs and I don't even work out. So you're trying to tell me you'd rather live a life like that or live a life of obesity, sickness, illness, where you're constantly sick all the time. You're constantly having constipation. You're constantly having food poisoning. You're constantly, bro, in a state, bro, of just body being inflamed where you're just uncomfortable. You have all sorts of issues, just an inconsistent life then I highly recommend you to change your diet, bro, to a better fuel source. Give it a try, okay? Drastically cut back on these things. Do your own research. There is nothing better than people that do their own research because then they get the information themselves. Instead of coming here and trying to disagree with what, what I'm saying, 
just understand, you know, go do your research and just see that everybody that eats meat has these. You can get parasites from just walking around barefoot. Okay. I want you to understand that. You can get parasites for just walking around barefoot. You can get hookworms for just walking around barefoot on the grass. You got to think on how many animals excrete and animals have bugs. Animals have worms. Animals have parasites. Okay. And all it takes is for you to have an animal in your vicinity. Okay. If you got cats, dogs, you got parasites. I'm sorry to tell you, it's nothing for you to be all bent out of shape. Just get your ass in shape. Take care of what you got to take care of. Understand that you're going to have to detox every couple of months. Okay. Basically because of what <laughs> you have an animal there. <laughs> you guys got to wake up, man. Okay. You have to wake up and you have to smarten up because like I said, man, these things eventually change everybody. Okay. I want you guys also to think about this, man. Like I said, I told you, when is the last time that you ever heard a doctor tell you that you need to be dewormed, but they tell you to deworm all your animals. They tell you to de deworm all your animals so you don't get those worms, but you already have the worms. Okay. This is what I want you to understand. All right. And then they try to tell you to don't feed the animal human food. Why would they tell you not to feed the animal human food? <laughs> But you eat in the human food and you're getting all these issues. So I just want you guys to think about all this stuff that I said. Okay. It's really time for you to buckle down. Okay. I don't have no problem. This is the only message. This is the last message I'm going to give you on this. I'm moving on. Okay. <laughs> you, any questions you want answered about what I said, you're going to have to come back to this video. Okay. Cause I'm done telling you about what you need to know. Okay. I've known it for years. All right. And I fell off the wagon a bunch of times. All right. But when I finally got it together on this retention, I finally got my mind right. I finally started kicking out all the things that were bad for me. It was nothing but to do it, bro, because I know the truth. All right. And that's what matters to me. And some people that's important. And some people it's not what kind of character that you hold that you don't want the truth. That's a question you need to ask yourself. So you guys have a good rest of the night, man. I appreciate all you guys for being in here, man. You guys have a safe weekend, man. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I love you guys, man. Stay safe, brothers. Peace. I will not stage. Even if I must sacrifice my life.